Every new Marvel Cinematic Universe film is vital to the overall timeline and sense of worldbuilding, but for a while now, Black Widow has felt like a particularly intriguing addition to that larger tapestry. For one thing, it's a film that arrived two years after its title character sacrificed her life. For another, it's a prequel without any of the period trappings of Captain America, the first Avenger or Captain Marvel. Black Widow has as much to say about the future as it does about the past. Though it's very much a solo superhero movie following the title character on an adventure between the events of Captain America, Civil War and Avengers, Infinity War, Black Widow actually has a lot to say about the bigger MCU landscape going forward, particularly when it comes to its final act and its ending. So, we're here to break it all down, prepare for spoilers. Fox, that's sweet. Ew. What? Examining Natasha Romanoff's ending in Black Widow is impossible without taking the prequel nature of the film into account because, of course, we know where she's eventually headed. By the end of the film, she's got the blonde hair we first see her sporting in Avengers, Infinity War, and one movie later, she sacrifices herself to save her friends in Avengers, Endgame. It would seem, at first glance, like this movie is just there to set her up for those two installments and nothing more. But look closer, and Black Widow actually primes Natasha for more than her eventual death. Yes, we know she's fated to end up on Vormer, but at the end of this film, it turns out that she, not Steve Rogers or Sam Wilson, is the one who picks up the Quinjet that allows Teen Cap to continue running secret missions across the globe for the next two years. When Black Widow begins, Natasha declares herself out of the game, but by the end of it, she's got a new sense of purpose, making her the driving force behind the Secret Avengers team that heads out to help the world in ways the MCU still hasn't fully shown us. We don't really know exactly how she went about assembling Sam, Steve, and Wanda to go out and help people once again, but now we know she was an integral part of forming the group and not just following her friends into battle. The biggest crime Avengers Endgame committed against Black Widow was not killing her, but trying to convince the audience that she didn't deserve her own memorial. That much followed on from the long-running injustice of Natasha never being allowed her own story in the MCU. She was either a side player, a secondary hero or her important stories were left off-screen. No matter what the specifics of Black Widow's plot, the most important meaning to take from it is that she finally saw that traversed. Not only that but Natasha's story, and the story of the freed Red Room victims, is an overt allegory for the mistreatment of young women and girls, which similarly simply has not found the space to be told in Hollywood. Even a decade ago, this film simply would not have existed. It's an important narrative undercurrent, and it's fitting that Natasha's legacy in the MCU was freeing those who went through the same abuses as her and preventing Drakov claiming more victims. Not sleep. I've been in six different time zones and but Black Widow's own story also mattered, and it's important that it was finally told. This was, after all, the hero who recruited Hulk, who took down Hydra by outing her own sins, who led the Avengers in the wake of Thanos' snap and turned Hawkeye back from the abyss. Natasha deserved her story to be more than just being the one who thought herself expendable enough to justify her death in Endgame and Black Widow gave her that story. I'm gonna open the door. Crucially, the MCU did a greater justice by not shoehorning in other heroes for cameos, even when it would have been easy to do so, she was given the space to breathe, she was given the space to breathe and to come to her own conclusions on why she went back to active Avengers duty and that matters. Blew her face off. So while she's no longer around, the biggest takeaway from Black Widow should be that Natasha Romanoff finally got to tell her own story. 